At the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, a historic American engine, the S160, is making its first run in 20 years. With a few minutes to go, Piglet, Kieran and Big Boss Chris make their way onto the platform to witness the big moment. Yeah, it should be here in a minute. Hopefully it'll be here in a minute. Anyway, I'm, I'm slightly nervous. I mean, it literally hasn't hardly done anything, really. Excuse me, can you let the booking office staff know? Is this the American? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, well, we weren't planning on it being out today. It was a bit of a lastminute.com. Something went wrong again. Yeah, something went wrong, so that we're having to swap it round. Dealing with engine failures is not a part of the job Chris likes. What brings me the stress when something breaks down is not the fact that something has failed, it is we're going to upset the people who are here as our customers. So the frustration that brings is immense. Here comes the train. Oh, oh look. It looks apart and the public love it. That's a thumbs up from the firemen, so that's a good sign. But Piglet's not going to relax just yet. I'm going to have a feel round, all right? Now, the engine's just done its first trip with a set of carriages after restoration. Everything's new and tight, so we just need to make sure that none of it's running too hot and just make sure everything's all right and it's, it's good. Seems all right, driver's happy with it. That's the important thing. They get the all clear to go. You're getting a green flag. Green flag from the guard, Howard. But the 150 ton engine is refusing to budge. Brakes don't look off. Brakes look like they're slightly on. That's better. Come off now. That's better, it'll go now. Or maybe not. Won't move. Just struggling to get going at the moment. I thought the brakes were stuck on, which they were slightly, but they're not now. It's all very tight with being you. Oh, no, no. With a train full of passengers and boss Chris not far away, Piglet's under pressure. Yeah, it can't move itself. Yeah, no, that's all off, isn't it? Strange. If he can't get it moving, the schedule will be in tatters and the railway could lose thousands. Coach brakes are off. Hand brakes off. The brakes appear to have released, so Piglet can't understand why it won't move. There's no brakes on. There's no brakes on. Try dropping it in forward gear and giving it a little nudge. That's done the trick. Seems to have got it. Yeah. It's away now. Brake sticking. Loco brake. I don't know why, but it seems all right. I think it just over travelled slightly. Ten minutes gone. I know. Could have done without that. Yeah, I could have done without that. Sorry. If a train breaks down or if a locomotive breaks down, we end up with a situation where the trains are not running as they should be because of a mechanical failure. That always frustrates me. It means that, to a certain extent, we failed. And the one thing I would say is that failure is shared. Piglet's pulled in one of his top engineers, Boilersmith Mark, to get to the bottom of it. It's only about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm having a busy day. I'm already out of breath. So I'm going to go have a little bit of a play with that, see if I can get the air pump running. I've definitely got the work cut out for me. On the S160, the brakes work with compressed air generated by a pump. If the pump is faulty, a safety mechanism means the brakes stick on. And that's what happened at Pickering. The brakes, they don't come off. So it's like driving your car around with the handbrake on all the time. So Mark thinks there's something wrong with the pump. Question is, what? Mark believes he's found the problem, a loose bolt. 
you can see where I've got a screwdriver in here, how it's moving. So that shouldn't be moving. That should be solid tight, that is. So that's allowing all the oil coming out. So the oil's coming out of there, rather than going into the top of the pump where it's needed the most. So I'll try and get that out, put a new one in, see if I can get it out. So I've got the, that's the remains of it. So I'll to get a new one of them now. Mark's found a bolt that he reckons might do the job. I've managed to find a metric bolt and it goes in. It's like a perfect fit. It's like an episode of Blue Peter, this is. What's nice about this job, we can have sat along here now, just working on this, and then uh, a choo-choo train goes past. So I'm hoping I'll do all this, we'll turn the pump on, it'll burst into life. Mark had better be right. Businessman Peter is the owner of the S160 and a generous railway benefactor. He's just driven from Gloucestershire, expecting to ride on an engine he's spent a small fortune on. With Mark still working on the engine, all Piglet can do is stall him. I might be pushing it, but we'll try, you know, because there's only half the day left now, isn't there? That's the problem. There's not a huge amount to do, but there's not a huge amount of time to do it in, is there? Even with the new bolt in place, the pump still doesn't sound quite right to engine fitter Frank. The air pump got to there. Yeah, put it there and it's different to that. That's louder, that's louder there than that one. But Mark isn't a man who's easily defeated. It's the rings on the piston. That's why it's struggling. We think it's in this one of these pistons here, so and I'm gonna pull the piston out now. No, that's gonna stop, that's gonna stop the show. This ring here is broken. Good spot, Mark. They're very brittle things, these are, and you can see how thin they are. They're tiny. But that, so that one's broken, and if, if it doesn't pop out right, and it seizes in it, that'll stop it from running. So if I can get two more rings on it, try it again, and see what happens, really. So, fingers crossed. Mark's now got to the root of the problem, but there isn't time to fix it and get the engine steaming today which means Piglet's going to have to let owner Peter down. It's close. I just don't think it's going to be close enough for you to get a ride on it, unfortunately. It's a shame, but, well, uh, you know, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. With Peter due to leave tomorrow, Piglet's running out of time. In the engine shed of the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, Boilersmith Mark has tracked down the crucial part he needs to fix the troublesome American-built S160 loco. Let's go put that in and see what happens. I put the rings on now, and I'm just dousing everything in oil. The idea of the rings is the rings is to stop the steam from going straight past it, try and keep it steam tight. So it's all oiled up, and now I'm going to try and put it in, see what happens. It's just a very delicate process. Mark is racing against the clock because Piglet has promised owner Peter the engine will be up and running today. You have to have a bit of a delicate touch with the screwdriver because the last thing I want to do now is break another ring. If I can not break this one, I'll be... Ah, oh, it's broken. I don't know where this is going to work now. That might be game over now. It might be game over, another ring just broke. Luckily, Mark finds one more spare ring. Right, so uh, last chance. I've got another ring on it. I'm fingers crossed it's going to fit this time. If this doesn't fit, that's it. Game over then. Try again. If this goes in all right, then it's a case of start the pump up. If it runs, then it can go out. Last ring. It's back on. We rush the time now, so uh, I'm going to get him to give the pump a try in a minute. Will you turn the pump on? Go on, go on. I'm not even there yet, and you're starting without me. Will she? Won't she? Go on. Voila! The pump is. Pumping on its own. Well, that's a relief. That's the only reason why it can't go out. Hopefully, it doesn't get to the station and dies again. That'd be a bit embarrassing. I think success. It's all good. I'm happy. That with Barney. Barney's happy. It's going out.